I just wasn't expecting like so much. Like the yeah, blew my it. blew my expectations away. It's game time and I'm up one. How many bottles of coffee? So we're about building relationships. So I'm a team of the fastest growing brands for detailing products, chemicals, and buildings in the world. All right, guys, it's another FJ Cruiser for the weekly buff. This thing's going to be a ton of work. I mean, look at the condition of this thing. We're going to have to do full paint correction on it. I mean, look at the wheels. And look at that guy. Who's this guy? Color. Are you the Umbrella Corporation? Yeah. You make umbrellas? Yeah. I think Are, so. Do they work in the rain? Red and white ones. Red and white ones? Yeah. That's what it looks like on your decal. Yeah, I know. So guys, we're going to have to do full correction. The guys are getting ready to prep it right now. It's got a lot of damage to the clear coat. We're gonna be doing a full body PPF. And restoring the black trim with our ceramic coating. And the guys are getting it washed. They're gonna correct it. And then we're gonna PPF the whole entire truck except the roof and the rear tailgate. Stay tuned, guys. So we gotta take off these company decals before we can get this bad boy prepped. The umbrella man is coming apart. Right now Junior is removing the decals with a plastic razor blade, not a metal one. Right Junior. Yep. So everybody, it's gonna be Junior's birthday. Uh, this week in two days. What's the date, Junior? October 12th. October 12th. So guys, wish Junior happy birthday. Leave a comment in the box. Let them know we love Filipino men. Yeah, you. Yeah. All right, guys, let's start. It's time to start figure out a pattern product combination before we completely PPF wrap this FJ Cruiser. As you guys can see, this was what a vehicle looks like when there's nothing on it. See how the water's just clinging like a sheet of ice? This means what? No protection, right, Junior? No protection, no wax, no nothing. No polish, no nothing. Junior said he's gonna make this thing look brand new. He's gonna make a Hawaiian bow. Oh yeah, bro, it's gonna be bright. And then Max has to completely PPF it. So we're gonna figure out the pattern product combination on this. Yep, sir. As you guys can see in the video, the before, it's pretty harsh. Even though we're PPF in the full vehicle, we wanna make sure the paint is correct so that when we put the film down or if they ever remove it, everything's perfect right below it. And we took a nice dent out of this fender. The customer's gonna be stoked. So Josh, what is the pattern product combination gonna be on this? What's this game, PPF? It's a, uh, we're just doing a two step. Oh, we're gonna do, I said, I told people we were doing a three, so we're doing a two? Three, well, we can't do anything until after we're done washing, like polishing wise. Uh -huh. So we're just doing the wool. Well, we got lucky with the wool microfiber. Did you? Yeah, so the wool and then the microfiber after just cleaning it up. So we're actually gonna, perfect. we could be able to do it in two, not three. Yeah, the roof is gonna have to get three step because it's oxidized. So the roof is gonna get three step and the sides are, two sides working. A lot of Japanese paints are very, Japanese cars are a lot easier to work with. Softer, clear? Yeah, a lot better to work with. So 800 paint. heavy cut plus with a wool pad or gray wool pad, yeah. and then 2000 microfiber with a 2000 cut finish? Yeah. The roof would have to go a little more because it'd probably have to go more harder, I guess, on the roof because it's so oxidized. But other than that, we're pretty good. We are doing three steps splotchy, so there's some spots we need it more because there's some heavy scratches on the sides. So if we have to, we do a lot of deep marring from the wool, we'll go back and touch it up with a foam later, like at the end, but. And the, so hood, the hood's coming out pretty sweet. It's pretty dusty right now, but it's a lot better. Yeah. And then the roof is really oxidized, guys. You can see it's chalky, so we're gonna have to restore that. Junior's gonna give dance lessons today, right? Yep. Dance lessons? No. Nope. Can you show us your moves right now? <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh, 
Cruiser. What year is this FJ Cruiser, Max? Uh, 2010? 2010, so you're telling me this thing's 12 years old? So, yeah. so right now Max is uh, doing a full body PPF, except we're not doing the roof, but we are doing the sides because this guy plans on doing some serious off-roading. And uh, PPF is a great option to protect the paint, the finish, the body panels. All right, so right now Max is uh, installing the rear fender on the FJ Cruiser. It's an exact CAD design and fit. How's the design, Max? It's pretty good, it's spot on. Would you own an FJ Cruiser, Max? I would, I love this car. Do you think we could drop like a Coyote motor and a Toyota? <laughs> that would be pretty, uh, pretty gnarly there. Hey, tell people what you're going to do with the GT500 scoop that we gave you from the GT500 project. Scoop? Uh, I might put that on my SD1000. Oh, that would be so badass. <laughs> All right, looks like uh, Max, you're wrapping this up, huh? Yep. So now it's on to Cody and the trim, PPF glass, and uh, it's coming out pretty sweet. All right guys, now it's time to apply the PPF and vinyl ceramic coating. This whole truck is wrapped in PPF. Junior's gonna get started, let's do it. Alright guys, finishing up Project FJ Cruiser body wrap. Josh is applying the plastic renew and protect right now to all the trim to restore it. He's taking a lot of product on Josh. Yeah, a little bit. Not too bad actually. I was expecting worse. Coming out pretty good. Right now, you can see the difference in the bumper. Wow, look at the difference, Josh. That is crazy. You guys can see here's original trim to the left, and this is treated with our plastic renew and protect. All right, guys, it's time to go check out the FJ Cruiser. Customer's on his way. We've been working on this vehicle for a week. We didn't take it apart, full paint correction, before we could even get started, remove some of the trim. He wanted full body PPF. Why? Because he plans on taking it off-road. He was a company called Umbrella Corporation. He is on his way, but we wanted to share with you guys how we transformed this 14-year-old FJ Cruiser to look like a brand new vehicle. I think he's gonna be stoked. Every single one of these panels, except for the roof and the rear tailgate, were PPF'd, and then we put our PPF and ceramic coating on top of it, so now he's got two layers of protection and look at this paint unreal if you guys saw the beginning of the video this truck was in really rough condition and now it looks like one big mirror 
You just snuck up on us. There's no uh, overhaul and release here. What's going on? Who are you? Oh, Rich Wells. Um, I'm a cybersecurity engineer. I work for USCIS. And uh, just uh, just came up to see the FJ. You're shaking. What happened? I'm I'm nervous, man. Well, I'm not nervous. I'm just excited. You know, I wasn't a I wasn't ex expecting such high wor like work and everything. Well, obviously I've seen all the work you've done, but like blew my expectations away. I noticed even the, the back door was done too. It's it's awesome, man. Cool, huh? All right, so we're gonna go check it out. Let's go walk it. Yeah. All right. It's like it's rolled off like a movie set. That like better than brand new. Like jeez. No, it sent me a couple pictures and everything, but man, like. The pictures definitely don't do any justice at all. I'm stoked, man. Look at this. I mean, look how good this thing looks. We ceramic coated your wheels, so they're a lot, they're a lot blacker. They were, they were, they were, they were brand new when I got them, but man, like, they look even better, you know. So tell people out there, how'd you, um, how'd you find Glossit? Oh uh, well, I was literally just looking for detailing companies, and then I guess you know by. Facebook and everything and they just targeted that advertisement and you just you popped up on there and you know drive by you know your saw a couple of your videos and thought I would come out and check out see what you, what you guys can do and obviously just seeing all the, the cars and everything watching all your videos it's I knew I found the right guy we had to sand and buff certain areas before we put the paint protection film down and uh, it was a lot of work I mean you saw the before and after of your trim so what would you tell people thinking about coming to spending this kind of money versus going to one of our competitors or days what you know what advice would you give them honestly it's i even even like you were talking about before we i saw a bunch of your videos it's all about you know the attention to detail like you can't even tell you know where the seams are or anything like that you really you know tuck everything away opposed to you know cut even right exposed on the edges yeah and like you know if you have those exposed edges you like collects dirt and everything and starts you know eating away the Paint protection the, film yeah, the, the coating? The, yeah, the coating of everything, so. Yeah, we put a coating on top of your paint protection and see all your trim up here. Look how much better this top piece looks up in yeah. here. Yeah. Right? Everything, man. Now, the only thing we don't remember, I said, I'm not gonna PPF this, but I did yeah. this and I did this. So this is done, this is PPF. Awesome, yeah, this, it's, it's, this is amazing. Everything. So what, so somebody's out here, cause they get sticker shock when they come here sometimes. Tell them, what do you think about sticker shock based as well on what we actually do here? You know, here? like I know, like it, it, it was a little much, you know, when I had a, had a break, break the news to the woman, she was a little, a little nervous, like it could get it done cheaper, but you know, getting it done cheaper and getting it done right are two different things, you know? So that's, 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 that's kind of why I was like, you know, like Rich was definitely the, like here at Gloss, it's definitely the place that you need to, need to get it done. So no, don't play around. Yeah. Cause sometimes you could pay for it twice. Yeah. And like, still I get it, and then you're like, shit, if I just gone to the original guy and paid more, I wouldn't be chasing my car around asking these guys to fix a bunch of stuff. You know, that's kind of why I went this way. I made sure I got, you know, whatever your top product, the top line thing, because this is going to be with me forever, you know. There's still a lot of work I still got to do to it, you know, because I'm going to be doing, like, the, the weekend warrior and stuff like that with it, you know, taking it camping and off-roading a lot more of it. So, you know, got to put my bumpers, raise it a little bit higher. But, uh, yeah, I... I definitely want to make sure it was all protected. So whenever we start going well, down, the crazy that part is like, let's look at the. Go ahead and look into that reflection with yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> right. You can it's kneel down so I get your face. Okay. Do you want to shave or what? I got a bick in the, <laughs> in the office. Wheels are done. Even though they were brand new, they weren't that black. So we coated those. All this trim was done. So the most important is that the ceramic detail spray. Use on the glass, the paint, the wheels. Switch towel. You do wheels, yeah, yeah. use a towel. Glass, use a towel. Paint, these are your best friend. You see my videos on social media? Yeah. These are your best friend. We have the premium towels in there. You can wash them or reuse them. It's not like Costco where you gotta throw them away. Mm -hmm. Towels are your friend. Now you've got two layers of protection. You got full body PPF armor on here and then you got coating on top of that. So you got like double protection on here. But so that's like the, the pieces that Noah showed me like that actually hardens up yeah. or something like that. So now it's not going to be a stick on the PPF because PPF by itself sort of 10 to 11 mils thick with adhesive. Then we're adding about a half a mil of coating on top of that because plastic, the film. Now up here is different because it's metal. Yeah. We put plastic. So you're going to want to stay religious once a month. You can use this as much as you want. In fact, you're going to want to wipe it down now because the black looks so great. <laughs> um, but here is done, here is done. We didn't have to do here, because we're not worried about that. 
and the trim. You're probably gonna wanna redo the trim like once a year. You can come in and buy a bottle from me, watch one of my videos, it's like shoe polish. There's no learning curve to do the trim or the wheels of the glass, the paint's a little bit difficult, okay? So when you're ready and you notice it starts to dissipate a little bit, come see Josh or I, and then we'll get you a bottle, and then we'll show you a small section. It's real easy to put on the trim. All right, yeah. So guys, it's another weekly buff, another happy customer. He's gonna be YouTube famous. He's gonna be the umbrella man. Stay tuned for the next weekly buff. And I hope you guys enjoy this because we're right above McCarran Airport. We'll see you next week. Stay tuned and be sure to like or subscribe or ring the bell if you like this video. We'll see you next week.